The city of Lake City is dealing with the aftermath of a Monday cyber attack. Now the city's email system is shut down and paying utilities with a credit or debit card is not an option until they find the answers they're looking for. Action News Jack's Ryan Nelson joins us live from downtown Lake City. Ryan, police tell you they know the malware made its way in through email. And John, police tell me the city found out that on Monday they came under a cyber attack and as soon as they detected the virus, they shut down the network services and that meant that their credit card system was down all day long. Lake City's email system is shut down and for the time being, paying utility bills means doing it the good old fashioned way. Lisa Bennett tells me she just moved to the city and was surprised to learn she couldn't pay with credit or debit. It's different. I mean, you have to go to your bank, get the cash. I mean, it's just a little bit more difficult. It's easier to go paperless. Paperless is not an option for Lake City after it says triple threat ransomware worked its way into the city's network through email. It was detected Monday, causing the city to immediately shut down the email system along with the city's phone lines. And now they're relying on paper for utility payments and building permits. And tell me officers and firefighters public safety communications were never affected. I sat down with Action News Jack's IT manager Steven Sesnick to learn more about ransomware. He tells me it's true to its namesake. They make the data on the computer unusable until you pay them. He tells me hackers can send their viruses through email attachments, and those viruses can collect your data, allowing hackers to hold it ransom until you fork over your money. And it also spreads it across the network. Police tell us there's no indication any sensitive or personal information was leaked. The city says that information is stored with an off site third party vendor. Neighbors like Mary Herman tell me they're putting their trust in the city to keep them safe. It's scary for the normal person because what do we do? Since I've been here, when anything's happened, they've really jumped on it. I mean, I have to give them that. And police tell me that there's no indication anyone tried to solicit money from the city. Now, coming up all new at 6, Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson explains why hackers may have targeted the city of Lake City. Reporting in Lake City, Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.